This is Andy Perroff for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm joined by WBO world champion Nicola Adams. Nicola, how are you doing? Yeah, good, good. It's good to hear. Obviously, it must feel great to know that you're only a matter of a few days away from getting back into that ring after such a lengthy period, having to watch from the sidelines. Yeah, yeah, it's been a been a long time waiting, and then to receive the title and not not have to fight for it, I was, you know, it was a, a kind of a love hate thing. I was I was happy I won, but I'd done all that training just to to fight for the title. So now it feels like on on Friday night in the Royal Albert Hall, I'll be I'll be crowned the real champion. It'll feel like it's a it's a real world title to me then. What was that like? You just mentioned it, you know, you was given the world title without actually having to win it in the ring. What was that feeling like at the time? Yeah, it was a, it was a bit of a weird one. I, w- I was happy, um, but then I, w- I was like a bit sad at the same time because everybody that um, boxes, they want to fight for the title. They don't want to be just given it. So, um, yeah, it was a love-hate kind of thing for me. But now you do get to look forward towards Friday night at your, at, I was going to say your call then, at Royal Albert Hall. How excited are you to get the chance to fight there, such an iconic venue? Oh, I'm I'm really excited. Muhammad Ali's box there. There's been so many um, different singers, famous like um, singers and and operas held there. So um, it's definitely going to be a, a piece of history for for me and everybody else. You know, it's the first time um, we've had a female fighter box in the in the Royal Albert Hall. So every everybody you know watching watching at home and everybody in the re, the arena, it's, it's it's history in the making. You know, this is once in a lifetime opportunity for everybody to be there. Obviously, we have mentioned that it's been a while since you last fought, been in around a year since you last fought. Are you feeling that when you go into there, there will be that ring rust, at least initially, that you're going to have to try and shake off? Yeah, there might be a little bit of ring rust, but um, I've done some. I've done some really good sparring in the gym. I've been sparring Kid Galahad, and as we know, you know he's a, he's hard to hit and a smooth operator. So yeah, if I can catch him in the ring, I can catch anybody. Now, it talks about Salinas, the woman you have to try and catch on Friday night. What do you know about her? Um, She's a come forward, um, come forward fighter, in your face, very aggressive, um, which which suits me down to a down to a tee. She tries to box. I've I've got a game plan for that. I just feel like I'll be too big, too strong, and my arms are too long. Do you feel like you need to try and make a little bit of a statement, especially because you've had this time off because of various reasons that like you need to try and maybe announce yourself back on the stage despite obviously holding that world title? Yeah, oh, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to be able to put on a great performance. You know, first round knockout, bam, like it's over. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love that. Um, if that happens, then you know, you know, great. Uh, um, that'd be ideal. But I'm just going to take my time. You know, don't not rush anything. And if the knockout happens, it happens. Yourself and Frank both mentioned in a press conference that you're looking towards that unification bout come the end of the year. The was talks to try and make it for this for this bout. How come it didn't materialise this time round? Yeah, the IBF champion was injured in her last fight. She got um, a cut to her eye, so um, she's been out, been out of the ring for for a bit. So, it, yeah, it was uh, it was one of them. It, it would have been nice to be able to, you know, get two for the price of one <laughs> <laughs> to, um, on Friday night, but um, unfortunately, it wasn't wasn't meant to be. But um, hopefully, in December, we'll be able to get that going. Frank mentioned that you, you know, you've, well, it was mentioned on stage that you're 36 now. Are you feeling the pressure also because of your age, because of your name in itself, that you have to try and maybe gather pace quite quickly towards those unification bouts and you try and make up for this lost time? No, no. I mean, I, I look at people like Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. You know, I mean, beating Keith Furman the way he did the other day, 40, 42 years old. That just shows you if you have the the passion and the determination to to have that that drive to keep on doing what you're doing, you really can achieve anything. And and that's one thing that I've got. I've got that passion. I've got that drive, and I've got my goals. I want to unify the the flyweight division and then move up to to superfly and and take those titles too. Like I'm I'm collecting. <laughs> now, I was trying to get your thoughts on a couple of things away from yourself. Sticking with Ingle, Jim, we've seen Cal Brook return, Billy Joe Saunders at least for his next bout. What's it like seeing these guys back in the gym? Yeah, it's really good to see. There's always a bit, bit of banter in the in the gym as well with, with these guys. Um, but yeah, training's going good. They're, they're looking in good shape already, so I'm excited um, to see what happens with them when they, when they box next. And on Kid Galahad, who you mentioned earlier, you've done a bit of sparring with. He's been granted a final eliminator once again for Josh Warrington's IBF World Total. What are your thoughts on that situation? Um, I'm, I'm really happy for him. Um, the last fight was a really close fight. So um, it'll be interesting to see uh, the second showdown. And only a matter of probably a week and a half ago, Tyson Fury defeating Otto Varlin. What was your thoughts on that fight, Nicola? Yeah, it, was a, it, was a, it was a tough fight. 
tough fight for him, a, a lot tougher than I expected it to be. Um, but I think maybe his mindset on um, Wilder and getting that title, because uh, that's the one that we all want to see. I still don't know how he got up off of the, off of the canvas um, after that shot. So you know, fair play to him. I, I hope he does. I hope he does does the business in the second fight. Well, Nicola, I'll leave a final word with yourself. What would you like to say to everybody before I do let you do? I do one and I'll run off. Yeah, hey guys, um, hopefully you can tune into the fight or come down and watch on the 27th. Um, this Friday, the Royal Albert Hall, BT Sport. Yes. Nicola Adams, thank you for speaking to myself on Boxing Social. Thank you.